Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. This is Ryan in Motivation in Action. All right, today my topic is all about hmm. First and foremost, I'm I'm, I'm gonna start my discussion today by showing you this picture. Okay, I want you to look at this carefully. Mm hmm. See that one? Nice, hey. All right. Okay. Uh, actually, there's there's another one. Okay. Mm-hmm, see that one? Mm-hmm. See? All right, that's enough. All right, um, if we're gonna look to take a look at this picture, there are two meanings. Either you can see the dolphins, or you can either see the two lovers doing their thing. Hey, you seen the dolphin, or you seen the lovers. Okay, and then second picture is that you could probably see the old lady facing side view or the young lady facing at the back. See that one? All right, okay, thanks. You know what? Um, when when I print this um when I print this picture yesterday, I keep this my I I keep this picture away from my kids because my dominant thoughts told me uh, I don't want I don't want them to see this because they might see the other one or they might see the lovers doing their thing, right? So, but this morning, um, when when I send my 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 kids going to school, unfortunately, my daughter see this one. I was shocked. Like I I was like. Oh no, that's mine. <laughs> so that's my uh, first initial in uh, reaction. However, my my daughter said, "Wow, Dad, um, lots of dolphins. See, there's a lot of dolphins." And then somehow it's like a breather. Like, oh my God, fortunately, ah, oh. so something like that. I I feel uh, ease because um, she was able to figure out only the dolphin thing. So anyway, why why am I sharing this with you guys? Um, I'm sharing this with you because um, maybe, just maybe, you're dealing with prob problems right now that um, you think that this is a very difficult situation where you can't go out from it. Or maybe, just maybe, you are a student right now that you are struggling in your school and then you feel that e everything is difficult. This is not for me. I'm not going to go to school. I'm not going to continue doing this. Or maybe, just maybe, your past experiences um, keeps you moving forward or keeps you from doing what you want it to be because it keeps you, it's, it keeps on hunting you. So, those are, th those are the things that we can't avoid because um, as human as we are, we are facing those kind of problems. But hey, um, my point here is that in every difficult situations there is there are good things there's always and the other side of the coin okay like if, if you're gonna ask me then how am i gonna do how am i how am i gonna shift from being negative to being positive or oh, oh how are am i how am i going to uplift my spirit from being low um wary to being something um something yeah good feeling good like I just want I just want you to remind something. I just, th these are, you know what, your your thoughts and your feelings can create possibility if you take emotional intensity and massive repetition. Remember that one. Okay, I'm gonna repeat again. Your thoughts and your emotions can create possibility in this world if and only if. You apply emotional intensity and massive repetition. So how are you going to do that? Well, I don't know with you, but you have to, to wake up in the morning and, and look at the mirror and then affirm yourself that you are, you are the son of God. You are approved by God. You are anointed by God. If God is with you, nothing can stand against you. Always remember that one, okay? Uh, be brave be bold to yourself that you can do these things it's really difficult guys i know it's really difficult but 
if you're gonna do ma massive um, repetition and then put emotional intensity everything will you can create possibility like take for example my my younger my younger son is only two years old uh, turning three um, this October she's just two years old okay running three what I did is just read him a books read him, read, read him a book every single day every single day repeat 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 and you know what by doing that one it amazes us it, it amazed me and it, it amazed my wife and it also amazed her sister because she can now do spelling how did she how, how did he do that well if you only put um if you only put emotional intensity or massive repetition in what you're doing then you can accomplish everything remember that guys well doing videos for me is out of my comfort zone this is really out of my comfort zone however I just put in myself that I have a goal to do uh, I wanted to be someone in the near future that's why I'm doing this it may be very for for other viewers you may say this guy is I don't know <laughs> something wrong with this guy or something like that however it's better to be criticized by doing your thing than to be criticized by doing nothing and if like if you always compare yourself to other people then that's not gonna give you good because the more the more you compare yourself to other the more you become inferior and the more you become insecure with yourself remember that one so guys it says in the bible um galatians 6 verse 9 don't be weary of doing good things because probably in due time you will harvest what you you will reap what you harvest just don't give up so the bible says don't be don't be weary of doing do, good things put your mind mindset and good things because you will never know in due time you will harvest what you are doing right now thank you guys i hope you enjoyed that one see ya